Welcome to the Spectral Companion, our expansive series looking into the terrifying world of real spirits and entities which allegedly stalk our world. In our last two episodes, we focused on the Onryo of Japan and then the Scottish Green Lady of Fivey Castle. These entities are solitary beings, terrifying, yes, but what if I told you that there are accounts of vengeful spirits amassing together to walk the streets and fields at night? A malevolent mass of angry ghosts hell-bent on destroying those they encounter. As it turns out, such accounts do exist, and they are prevalent across cultures, leading some credence to the stories themselves. There are several legends that speak of armies of the dead, some of them benevolent, others decidedly not so. But while accounts of the rotting corpses of ancient warriors rising from the grave are a plenty, it is the incorporeal souls of such creatures which concerns us tonight. The Santa Campania in Spain, the wild hunt mythologies from Northern Europe, and even the Benandante in Italy, which are astral projections from living people doing battle against witchcraft, all of these will have their own entries in the Spectral Companion, but for this episode, we focus on one special group. Night Marchers. Some say that when ghostly footprints are found in the soil of the Hawaiian Islands and there is no one around, that the Night Marchers have passed by recently. And who are these ominously named entities? They are the ancient dead, the ancestral warriors who once fought and died during great battles of the past. Local traditions among the Hawaiian Islands claim that the night marchers only reveal themselves on certain days and in certain conditions, as though they are bound to their graves until these fateful nights, when they can rise and terrorise those around them. Their power is often connected with calendar nights traditionally associated with the god Kanaloa. This ancient being, often depicted as a squid or octopus, is said to be the keeper of the underworld. Perhaps then it is Kanaloa himself that releases the armies of the dead one night at a time. The spirits of the dead warriors are said to rise up out of their burial sites from battlefields where their bodies have been subsumed by soil and grass, or from the ocean itself where their dead bodies lie at the bottom of an abyssal sea. Once risen, the dead spirits come together to form a menacing troop who are then said to march across the islands of the living. Many hold in their hands spectral counterparts of the spears and other weapons they used to kill during their lifetimes, and they are depicted often as wearing traditional dress designed for battle. As they march, many of these dead warriors shout and chant together, beating mournfully on great drums and blowing eerie notes on conch shells. This, it is said, acts as a warning to the living. When the drums and ethereal music is heard, those living on the islands are forewarned. Do not cross paths with the armies of the dead or suffer their fate. Nowhere is safe. The terrain is no impediment to night marchers, at their own choosing, they can glide over sand, soil, water, and even rock. The darkness is their domain, whether through choice or being empowered by the retreating light of the sun. However, there are accounts of night marchers appearing even during the day. This is especially the case when one of their descendants has recently died, and night marchers manifest to escort the recently departed to the realm of spirits, perhaps even to Kanaloa and the underworld itself. What should concern the living most is what will happen if you are seen by a troop of night marchers. 
If they do see you, their thirst for battle will be unleashed and you will be hacked to pieces. In other accounts, being seen by night marchers results in an untimely death not long after. One way to avoid such a fate is to respond to the sounds of the march. As soon as the drums and conch playing is heard, you must go inside and then drop to the floor, lying face down against the ground. This is seen as a mark of respect. If you are lucky, the spirits will accept your submissive gesture and leave you be. There are two other ways to avoid death at the hands of night marchers. One is to seed an evergreen plant found on the islands around your home or place of sanctuary. The plant is called Cordyline fruticosa and is found throughout the Pacific Islands and beyond. It is believed this plant has special properties which ward off evil spirits when they approach. Another way to avoid being cut to shreds by night marchers is to be simply very lucky. If you are even distantly related to one of the ancient beings, they will scream the word Nau, which means mine, alerting the rest of the procession of the dead that their descendant should be spared. One theory as to why night marchers are so hell-bent on killing the living is due to the purpose of their march. In some instances, they are said to be carrying with them a former king or chief. According to ancient Hawaiian traditions, the remains of such celebrated figures are sacred and not to be looked upon by mortals, nor should you cast your eye upon their spectral being. If you are unlucky enough to look in the direction of one of these dead kings, the guarding night marchers will carry out a most horrific execution. Their eyes will glow white hot, and the mortal who has seen what they should not have is incinerated instantly, vaporised by the glowing stare of the dead warriors. Those who have survived the passing of night marchers claim that they carry with them the foul stench of death and decay, and that this too precedes their journey into the living. So, should you visit the Hawaiian Islands and hear the beating of drums, playing of conch shells, and strange ominous chanting at night, be sure to hide and hope for the best for the rotten stench of death will soon be upon you, accompanied by the searing gaze of undead warriors who show no mercy to the living. All Ghastly Tales shows are made possible by our amazing Patreon subscribers. Head over to patreon.com forward slash Michael Whitehouse. You'll also find a link in the show notes below and you will gain access to exclusive podcast episodes you won't hear anywhere else and a bunch of other goodies for you to enjoy. Thanks again to all those who have supported our horror content so far. We really appreciate it. And with your support, we'll be able to produce much, much more into the dark future.